Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching. Today's video is going to be how I apply my foundation, but this video is going to be more for beginners. I want to film these type of videos at least once a week on how I apply my foundation, how I contour, how I highlight, you know, do my wing shadow, all, all that jazz. Because a lot of you, especially on Snapchat, are always asking me questions on how to do these things. And I can answer you through a message, and I have, but it's not the same, you know, you guys seeing me through the camera and in a video and explaining step by step and you seeing me applying the product. So I definitely decided that it's a must to do these type of videos. I think it will be helpful for a lot of you that just started using makeup or know a couple of things about makeup but just want to learn some more. I want to be able to help whoever is starting to use makeup. I know it could be very complicated and difficult at first overwhelming because there's so many products that you just don't know what to buy <laughs> also i will be using more drugstore products than high-end i'm going to have a couple of high-ends here and there i know a lot of you like the fact that on my tutorials i'm always mixing high-end with drugstores i want to show you guys how you could accomplish a nice flawless look from the drugstore that you don't have to run and just buy high-end since you're a beginner I want to try to save you as much money as I can and who the heck doesn't like to save money I know I do so I definitely hope that these videos do help you guys if you have any questions you already know leave them down in the comments I will answer them for you or hit me up on Facebook Instagram snapchat if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you won't miss out on these videos. Now to see how I apply my foundation and hide my dark circles, then just continue watching. Thanks guys. All right, you guys, so first things first, you're going to wash your face. You have to make sure that your face is nice and clean before applying foundation. You don't want no extra oils from the night before to mix in with your foundation then you're going to moisturize now i did these steps already that's why i can show them to you but this is what you need to do and once the moisturizer is nice and dry you could start with your primer now for primer i'm going to show you my two favorites the one from high end is from smashbox and the drugstore one is from garnier now why do you need to prime your face a primer is a base for your foundation. It's going to help smoothen your skin. If you have large pores, it will minimize them. All primers do different things. There are so many primers out there. I will film a video regarding that. But the main thing is that it helps smoothen your skin and it makes your foundation last longer. Like I said, all primers do different things. Why did I go with my Smashbox one? Because that one minimizes pores, but it also keeps you matte. It helps mattify you. So today I was a little bit on the oily side, so I decided to go with that one. The Garnier doesn't help me as much when it comes to that part, but it minimizes your pores and it gives you such a nice smooth finish on the skin. So that's why I chose the Smashbox one. A quick tip, when you're applying the primer, make sure that you're pressing it against your skin instead of just rubbing it. When you press it, it gives you a better effect. It's going to fill in those large pores. So make sure that you're pressing it on your skin and not so much rubbing it. Then you're going to want your primer to be nice and dry and settle on your skin. After that, you can move on to the rest of the face. Now for my dark circles, I love two concealers. One is by NYX, which is this one, is in orange, mine is in medium, and the other one you will see later on. The reason that I am applying the concealer first before I apply my foundation like I used to is because I noticed that this concealer does crease a bit on me and I don't like that so I decided to apply it first then apply the foundation on top of that and then the second concealer just to provide more coverage and just really brighten that area 
I bring this concealer all the way up to the inner corners of my eyes because in that area is also real dark. So that's why I apply it all the way to the inner corners. You usually apply it under your eyes, but since the inner corners of my eyes is real dark, I also apply the concealer in that area. I personally like to apply this concealer with my finger, but because I have nails, I used a brush, but it's not necessary. The warmth of your fingers will warm up the concealer and it will blend under your eyes even better. Look at the difference. Look at my right eye and look at my left eye. It covers so well, it hides those dark circles. It's a very good concealer from the drugstore. Now for foundation, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible. This foundation has a semi-matte finish, and what that means is that it's going to keep you matte, but without looking flat. It's just going to give you a nice, soft finish. And to apply it, I'm going in with e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. This brush is freaking awesome, you guys. It's just $3 and is amazing. It applies the foundation so nicely to the skin. Now this brush does not soak up the foundation. I really like that. So what's going to happen is that you're going to be able to use more of your foundation instead of keep on applying and applying more and more because your brush keeps on soaking up the foundation. Just like a beauty blender also would do. This brush does not do that, so you get to use more of your foundation. All I needed was what I just showed you in the video. And then I still had, after I spread everything, still a little bit on my brush, as you can see. So this brush is awesome and is only $3. It blends your foundation really nicely and it doesn't leave you any streaks. So if you're a beginner or you just want to save some money, you definitely should try this brush. To apply the foundation, what you're going to do is pat the foundation to your face with the brush. That's going to give you more pigmentation instead of you spreading it all over your face. Pat it first and then go in with circular motions to buff the foundation. And you're always going to want to blend down, never up. Just blend everything down so everything could be nice and even and well blended. Also, don't forget to bring the foundation down all the way to your neck. And don't forget to touch up your ears. Yes, your ears. As you can see right now, my ears look completely different. So all I do is go in with a brush with the axis that I have left over and just touch up the ears to make everything look nice and even. Once I'm done with my foundation, I go back with a concealer. This one is by Urban Decay, it's called Naked. And the reason that I apply a concealer is just to brighten up that area. Now for the drugstore, I am suggesting both by Maybelline. The H3 one is the white one and the Fit Me concealer is the one with the black top. Both are really good. So the way you're going to apply it is you're going to bring it down all the way to the end of your nose and then spread it up towards your temples. So down and then up, just like a triangle motion. The way I'm going to blend it is with my beauty blender and I'm just going to tap under my eyes and I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth. You're not just going to tap from your right to your left. No, you're going to go from right to left, left to right. You're going to go back over and over to make sure that that all gets nicely blended and nothing creases or you end up with any harsh lines. The Beauty Blender goes for $20. So if you're trying to save money and you wanna try a good sponge, try the one that is by Real Techniques. It's orange, it has a nice flat surface, and it has also a pointy side. It's a really good one. I have it, but I haven't found mine since I moved. So I think I'm just going to have to purchase a new one. Now, once you're done blending your concealer, you're definitely going to want to set it because you don't want it to crease. 
Now to set it, you could use a translucent powder, you could use a foundation powder, whatever works best for you, that's what you could use. For myself, I love this e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powder. It works amazing. My concealer does not crease, it does not settle on my fine lines, and it just gives me a nice, smooth, healthy finish under my eyes. I think this product is so good. I can't believe it's only $3. I have so many high-end uh, powders and they all crease on me, and this one that is just $3, it doesn't. It's the best thing to set your concealer with if you have problems with creasing, try this powder and let me know if it worked good for you i know it did for me and i love it now for the last step is going to be setting your foundation i'm going in with reblon's nearly naked powder and real techniques blush brush yes it's for blush but i use it as my face powder because it's pretty big so i don't use it for my cheeks anymore and it works great I really like this powder because it doesn't matter how many times I apply it, it never makes me look cakey, so that is a plus. Also, you want to set your foundation because you don't want it to melt by the end of the day. So if you're more on the oily side, you definitely need to set your foundation. And if your combination to oily skin and you don't want to apply the whole powder all over your face, you could just apply it around your T-zone. If you're not oily, then I don't think that you have to set your foundation, but if you do, it would just last longer. All right, you guys, so that completes my foundation routine. I know it's a lot of steps, but if you want your foundation to stay in place and looking flawless throughout the hours, you definitely have to take these steps. Let me know down in the comments what do you want to see next. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.